Now if the damn thing would be drawn in black, like on a piece of paper, you just draw it in black like a round, forget about the red. And then if we take away two diagonals, like in white, and only the black stripes are being left, what do we get? I'm going to cut it out and show you what's left. So shown a drawn Templars cross here, if I take away the white diagonals. So here we got a Templars cross which was drawn with, uh, with two diagonals gone. So it's a swastika in its original form. We just have to bend the outsides a little bit. And we get the swastika the uh, the Nazis used. So this means the Nazis were in fact Templars. And they came all from Switzerland who gave all the orders. That's why Hitler didn't attack the hand that fed him. So the Nazis were in fact pharaohs. And the uh, the swastika is in fact from a pyramid. Okay, you get the point? I already told you that in the Pharaoh show, but now you can see it in, uh, in a live show here, yeah, what I mean. So here in uh, 1923, we see Adolf Hitler here in Switzerland. You see the guy with the gun in his pocket next to him? So here's when he got the money and um, so he had to take the orders from them further on for the whole war. And that meant you kill them all and we take the bank accounts of everybody. This is why he didn't finish up with the British army in Dunkirk because the Swiss didn't want this. Because if he would have finished them off in Dunkirk, the British army, then the war would have been over. And then there wouldn't, wouldn't be any goal for Switzerland. Hey, eh? The Templars. At the beginning of the war in 1939, all the German tanks at the invasion in Poland they had the Swiss cross on their tanks. As you can see it here. Later on they changed it. It was too obvious. No. Here's another one. It's like the uh, white cross on the Swiss flag as they use it today. Then the Swiss asked, it was too obvious, so they asked, uh, they ordered Mr. Hitler to change it into, the, into something else, which I'm going to show you later. Then the Swiss finances ordered Mr. Hitler to change the, um, the sign on the tanks into this one here. Which they, uh, which they kept for the rest of the war, actually. And, but it's still a, fl a Swiss flag. There's only a black one in the middle, you see. So it's a bit camouflaged, as they camouflage it all. So after the Poland invasion, they changed it for the rest of the war with the black cross in the middle. Uh, it was all Swiss financed and Swiss masterminded. By the Swiss Templars, the Knights Templars. So the Iron Cross is in fact a Templars cross. The big one is the Templars cross and the little one there is when you take away two diagonals and it both comes from a pyramid and from the pharaohs as I proved to you before. <laughs>